either. Something um, I did want to talk about here was the Hornby J13, um, which actually came out about 20 years ago. And I picked this up off eBay for about 20 something pounds, and I think that was maybe a year, 18 months ago. Prices do seem to be now looking a little bit higher. Um, but what I want to talk about really is the fact that it's a very nice little model, um, especially if you have something like an Inglenook type layout, because despite its age, Despite the fact it uses this Type 7 or whatever it is, I think it's a type of Scalectrix engine, I'm not sure, maybe someone can correct me on that. It is a very smooth running engine. Mine makes a little bit of a humming, grinding noise as it uh, travels along, but other than that, it's quite nice. Livery is well applied. Uh, better than the one that came before this, I believe. I believe there was one before this, so you can get them mixed up. Um, the later one has much better livery. And there are quite a few things definitely wrong with it. Um, I think the shape's slightly not quite correct for a start. And you do have this slightly toy-like element about some of the way it's put together. Um, especially if you look at the back, there's this great big underneath the number there, and a great big clip which releases the um, the body. Uh, it also has this habit of um, it slopes to the front, uh, which I believe is because of a spring. But less of me rambling and more of it just watching how smoothly this thing can operate. Um, as I've said before, when you're building an ingle mark or any sort of layout that is a dead end, what you really want are things that can move slowly. Um, and this, as you can see, is it's excellent for it. It really, really is. Um, there are new models I have now that can't actually do this, um, but actually this doesn't have pickups on all the wheels either, which, I mean, I do have electric frogs, and I do have the, the points are wired up, um, so it does help, but the blades by that I mean, so that obviously is helping a little bit, but yeah, it's a, a great little locomotive, so you can find one of these on eBay. I just recommend it as a, a nice little buy. Um, looks a little bit out of place on the layout at times because it definitely needs some bit of weathering doing, so it all looks a bit clean, as do these coal wagons that I've put on here, which are all Oxford wagons, I think, so they're all looking a bit bright and clean. Uh, and as you can see, really in the shot, that leaning forward which I, be I believe that's because there is a spring fitted uh, at the back. Um, you can cut it to some... I, I can't quite get my head around looking at the instructions that came with this, because it ain't box. I think there's even a, a little manticle inside it, but I never bothered. And there's no great detail to it. Um, there's no cab detail or anything. You could add it all if you wanted to. But... Just one for thought there. Have a good night.